All right, so here we are. We're looking at the National Geographic Glow in the Dark Crystal Lab. And this is a STEM project. Um, and basically it's teaching you how to grow crystals and gives you a little history into certain gems and things of that nature. Uh, this particular one glows in the dark, as it says, and it's pretty cool. Um, it actually works. So I would definitely say if your kid is into science, um, this is one of those fun ones, but it does take a while. So it's not something that they're going to be able to do in one day, uh, which may be a little upsetting f for some. But uh, if you preface that before getting something like this, they'll understand. Um, this particular one started growing within, I think it was like a week, a few days to a week. We went ahead and grew ourselves a crystal. Now, it took about a week. And Ryder's gonna put it back down on the table because it's not supposed to be moved. We have a problem with following directions today. But as you can see, there's the crystal in there. We're gonna remove it carefully. We even got crystals growing up the glass that we used. And we went and got a disposable glass so that it wasn't one of our regular drinking glasses. That's what the dollar store is good for. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so is. Right, also so gonna, for toys. Yeah, also for toys. So we're going to go ahead and remove this thing and show you the end result. Cool, there's the crystal. Look at all those points on there. And it was actually too big to get out of the mouth of the glass. So we had to. So if you do a kit, I would make sure that the glass is, is the same size all the way up the top. And then there's some extra points that came off because uh, it fell a couple of times and broke them off. But uh, yeah, it's like glass, it's pretty cool. Very cool. Uh, it's pretty easy. All you'd have to do is mix in some powder with a seed crystal and some boiling water. Stir it for two minutes, but. With some boiling water, and then uh, that's about it. And basically, it's just a mixture, very simple to do. Um, you pour the bag into the solution and the crystals start to form in the provided uh, little container. And the shapes will vary, obviously, depending on, on your setup. Um, but it's pretty cool because you can actually see how the crystals form and create the tips, which you can see here. Um, this particular kit comes with a fluorite. Um, I guess it's a semi-precious gem. I'm not sure if that is the case or not, but it comes with a piece of fluorite inside, which is really cool because you can look at it in a UV light Goes in the dark. Very nice, very nice. Um, simple to do, definitely worth looking into if this is something you're interested in or if your kids are interested in. And it's relatively inexpensive, you know, and it's one of those projects that lasts, um, like I said, at least a few days. So definitely something to, uh, to consider, um, especially as far as their education is concerned. And my son has a definite uh, love for rocks and all things sparkly and gems, so this was a good one for him to, to look at and to do. So if I can find a link for it, I'll put it in the description below, check it out. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. So definitely, if you, if you get one of these or if you've tried one of these, please leave a comment uh, down below so I can hear about your experiences. I'd love to uh, see what else is out there that's similar to this. All right, well, if you enjoyed this, please make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, on to the next.